Tips for getting out of the friend zone. Friendships form lovely connections, yet complications arise when romantic feelings emerge for a friend. It can be disheartening when this affection isn't reciprocated, leaving one to ponder how to transition out of the friend zone. While it's a challenging endeavor, it's not insurmountable. There are various strategies to capture your friend's interest and potentially shift the relationship towards romance. Therefore, we present some tips to navigate out of the friend zone. 1. Don't appear to be needy. To escape the friend zone, avoid coming across as overly clingy. Constantly initiating every conversation might lead them to undervalue your presence. Thus, it's crucial to refrain from appearing desperate and instead allow space for genuine insight into their feelings towards you. 2. Distance yourself. It can be incredibly uncomfortable when you express your feelings to a friend, only to find they aren't interested in progressing the relationship. It's essential to respect their decision, and to alleviate any awkwardness, it may be necessary to create some distance between you. 3. Get back to dating. This suggestion might raise some doubts initially, but it can effectively help you escape the friend zone. Demonstrating that you're moving forward with your life allows the other person to recognize your value. They may come to realize their own feelings for you, or alternatively, you might discover a stronger connection elsewhere. In either scenario, it's a positive outcome. 4. Try to make them feel jealous. Jealousy can be revealing in uncovering someone's true feelings. Sharing details about your recent dates with your friend can serve as a test, allowing you to gauge their reaction and understand how they feel about the idea of you being with someone else. Their response may provide valuable insight into their level of interest in you. 5. Act busy. A major error is placing the friend you're in love with above your own needs. This leads to being undervalued and unable to escape the friend zone. To truly move past this phase, it's crucial to establish clear boundaries and treat that friend like any other individual. Redirecting your focus towards more fulfilling aspects of life is essential. 6. Respect their choices. It's crucial to honor the choices of others. If someone decides not to be with you and chooses another partner, it's important to respect that decision. Being a genuine friend means supporting them rather than trying to undermine their relationship for personal gain. Such tactics are unlikely to succeed and can ultimately harm the friendship. 7. Stop overthinking. Cease the tendency to overanalyze and view yourself as a victim in this scenario. Acknowledge that while it may be challenging, it's not your friend's responsibility to reciprocate your feelings. Resist the urge to become entrenched in melancholy as a hopeless romantic. Embracing the idea of moving forward appears to be the most sensible approach to fully appreciating life's offerings. Steps to healing after the death of your life partner. The loss of a loved one is profoundly distressing and profoundly impacts us. The mere thought of never seeing or speaking to them again sends chills down our spine. The pain intensifies when it's your life partner who has passed away. They were your companion through countless moments, sharing every stage of your married life. Coping with their absence becomes overwhelmingly challenging. However, despite the harsh reality, life continues. It's essential to gather strength and move forward. To aid in this process, here are steps toward healing after the death of your life partner. 1. Allow yourself to grieve. Experiencing feelings of devastation and bewilderment is natural and acceptable. You're encountering the challenging yet vital process of grieving, which involves openly expressing your thoughts and emotions. It's a crucial component of the healing journey. Additionally, it's permissible to mourn in your unique manner. Avoid comparing your grieving process to that of others. 2. Talk out your thoughts and feelings. The process of healing begins when you're able to confide in others about your grief. Therefore, give yourself permission to discuss the passing of your partner, your emotions of solitude and sorrow, and the unique qualities you miss about them. 3. Find a support system. Connect with individuals who genuinely care about you and are ready to support you through your grieving process. You may also consider joining a support group that resonates with you. Above all, steer clear of individuals who are critical, judgmental, or inclined to offer unsolicited advice. 4. Feel a mix of emotions. After the passing of your partner, you may experience a range of emotions including confusion, disorientation, fear, and anger, among others. Don't be alarmed if you encounter sudden waves of pain or sorrow. Permit yourself to glean insight from these emotions as part of your healing journey. 5. Get ready to put in hard work. 
The experience of grief impacts you on both emotional and physical levels. When you feel prepared, commit to the necessary effort, and acknowledge the signals your body is sending you with respect. 6. Do things when the time is right. Certain actions may feel instinctive to take immediately. Nonetheless, avoid pressuring yourself into any decisions until you feel prepared. It's entirely acceptable to make certain choices now while delaying others until later. Resist allowing others to dictate decisions on your behalf. 7. Celebrate your memories. It's normal to feel the absence of your partner on occasions you once shared together. As these moments may evoke heightened emotions, consider sharing your cherished memories with friends and family. Keep honoring and commemorating the life and love you both cherished. 5 Reasons He Won't Let You Break Up With Him Ending a relationship is always challenging, evoking a flood of memories and emotions merely at the thought of it. After investing significant time and sharing experiences with someone, the notion of life without them can be incredibly daunting. Despite this, not all relationships withstand the trials of time. At times, one partner's toxic behavior towards the other instills doubt, leaving them with no recourse but to consider a breakup. However, the process is seldom straightforward. Manipulation tactics are often employed, making it difficult to initiate a breakup. If you find yourself grappling with a similar situation, here are five reasons why he may resist letting you end the relationship. 1. He is power hungry he is power hungry. For many individuals, a sense of empowerment fosters feelings of value and confidence. If, when you broach the subject of ending the relationship, your boyfriend responds with threats, asserting that he alone will determine when it's over, it suggests a craving for control. He may even stage temporary exits, returning as if nothing occurred after a few days. In such instances, it's crucial to cultivate your own sense of empowerment. Remind yourself that you hold agency within this relationship and in your own life. 2. He wants someone to take care of him. Feeling the desire to be nurtured is a common human trait. Regardless of one's achievements or self-reliance, having someone to provide care can be comforting. Your boyfriend, however, takes you for granted, expecting constant attention and care from you. He worries about being left without this support if you were to depart. Consequently, he resorts to manipulation to ensure you stay by his side. 3. He doesn't want to go through the struggle of dating again. The prospect of re-entering the dating scene overwhelms your boyfriend. The question arises, why subject himself to that when he's already receiving care and intimacy from you? With all his needs fulfilled, he's settled and content. Therefore, it's time to refrain from making his life overly comfortable. Instead, focus on socializing with your friends rather than passively waiting for him. 4. He likes the physical intimacy. He harbors a perpetual fear that if you were to end the relationship, who would fulfill his sexual desires. The thought of investing more effort into this aspect is daunting, and he deems it as too much labor. Hence, he opts to persuade you to remain by his side instead. 5. He is egoistic. Your boyfriend's excessive pride may make the idea of you initiating the breakup, rather than the reverse, deeply embarrassing for him. The thought of being rejected because you ended the relationship fills him with apprehension, and he's determined to avoid it. Experiencing another failed relationship would be a significant blow to his ego. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.